Hello, great to see you again. Let me ask you, have you ever been in a situation when someone talked down to you? Have you ever been treated like a little child? Have you ever been given the feeling that you are too stupid to understand? Have you ever experienced that you were only given half of the information? If you have answered yes to any of these questions, how did this make you feel? I would think your level of confidence went down and your self-worth went below zero. Did this make you want to perform at your best? Highly unlikely. One thing that really bothers me is how common it has become in many organizations to treat one another with little or no respect. It seems to me that everything we teach our children does no longer apply once we become adults. Somehow, many people seem to think that they have earned the right to belittle people. And if they move in a position of power, it becomes even worse. I get to see many different work environments. And sadly, most frontline employees are still viewed as second-class citizens. Let me give you one example. One day, I was supposed to facilitate a personality assessment workshop to a maintenance department. It was a big plant and I had to work with 30 people in one setting. Before I started the training, one of the department managers said to me, Karen, do you really want to work with our maintenance guys? They won't understand what you are talking about. I was very surprised and asked if there were language barriers. His response was, no, they won't understand because they are not smart enough. Do you recognize where the problem starts? You get what you ask for. If you label people with a 2 out of 10 and you assume that they won't get it, most likely they won't. When I work with people, I look for the best in them. I believe that they want to learn what I can teach them. My goal is to earn their trust and to help them open up. I want to inspire them to use my tools and techniques in their job every single day. My intention is to help them live up to their full potential. Does this make sense? Have you ever considered that your team is a reflection of you? This means that you have to work harder on yourself than on your job because in the long run, this will make your job so much easier and more fulfilling. To be a successful leader, please keep these three things in mind. Believe that your people want to help you and your organization to succeed. Focus on what they do right instead of putting them down. And each day think how you can help each individual on your team to get better and better and better. Always remember, excellence is not a skill, it's an attitude. And I will see you next week again. Until then, be the best you can be.